Lucky Duck Games sent me Chronicles of Crime Noor. So let's get it to the table. Chronicles of Crime has become a very popular game that incorporates an app and a board game together to bring you a unique experience. They have released their first expansion, Chronicles of Crime Noor. The expansion not only adds more character cards, locations, special items, and a new storyline, but adds four action cards that can be used to give you more freedom to explore and investigate. When playing the game, you will know if the card belongs to the new expansion because it'll have this hat icon located somewhere on it. You will also be using the board and some special item cards from the base game to play through these stories. In this game, you will be playing as a private detective and you actually don't belong to any police department. You will find new allies and informants who can help you give you information to break the case. You will have access to a journalist, a coroner, and your secretary, who you can call when you are located in your office location. You will just need to remember that just like the Noor literature and movies, allies and friends can disappear, betray you, or even get killed. While investigating locations and people, you will always be able to use these four action cards. You can intimidate a suspect, break into a location, shadow and spy on someone, or corrupt and bribe someone. When choosing to do one of these four actions, you will scan it in the app. Just remember that you can use these cards during the wrong situation as well and cause some negative outcomes. While using the intimidation card, you can play it hard and try to get more information from someone. But the downside of this is some suspects can react harshly and they can eventually seek revenge or even try to attack you. Some locations might be guarded or locked and you are unable to visit that location. Use the break-in card and try to break in illegally. When illegally entering a location though, you can get caught and thrown into jail and possibly killed. You know that people lie, but their actions tell the truth. You can spy on someone and find out what they are doing when you are not around. Scan this card while in the same location as the suspect and you'll be asked who you want to shadow. This action takes time. Lots of time. You know that People want a little something for the information they can provide, and they won't always give you the truth for free. You can corrupt or bribe a character to make them talk to you or give you an item that you want. Money is rare, and each time that you use the corruption card, you will lose $20. The app will keep track of your money, and when it runs out, you cannot perform this action anymore until you earn money or find a way to get more money. Instead of just going to places and talking with them to find information, you now have freedom to do some more true investigating. Push the limits with what you can get away with without getting caught. Although these actions can pay off big, they also can hurt you when used in the wrong situation. In these cases, you will have a time limit to crack the case. Locations will have opening and closing times. Witnesses have their own agendas. And the police or bad guys can always come back to certain locations, even the crime scene, to arrest you or attack you or even kill you. If you go through this scenario and the time runs out without unraveling the mystery of what happened, it might be best to not solve the case at this time, but to try and play again from the beginning. This way you can learn from your mistakes and hopefully crack the case. There are surprises in these scenarios and the characters that you interact with, sometimes in a good way, but many times in a bad way. So watch your back and remember whatever you do can impact the events in the game. So if you're doing something near the beginning of your scenario, it could affect you later on. When you think you have solved the case, visit your client in your office and answer the questions by pressing this button that says solve the case. You are rewarded for all the story plots that you find and the more money that you make the better. If you need another hour to understand a side plot or to earn extra money, then it might be a good idea to do that before solving the case. I love the extra freedom the action cards give you. With more freedom comes harder and harder choices, and those choices can hurt you or help you tremendously. I really like how the game evolves with you and your choices. The app doesn't play the same way through each time that you play it, and it matters on what you've done to progress the narrative and the, the scenario. I have to say that these scenarios are not easy. I have to replay them many times before truly breaking the case. So each scenario really provides more than a single playthrough to solve the case and move on. 
Also, if you know you intimidated the wrong person and maybe you should have bribed them instead at that time, through another playthrough that you can fix your mistakes and try to gain back what you lost the first time that you played. Chronicles of Crime will be coming out with more and more expansions and will change themes and the way that the game is played. I personally would love to see the game take on a medical theme like House MD or maybe even flipping the game around to create a Dexter theme. There are so many possibilities with the way that this game can be played and I just love it. I'm excited to see what they do next with it, and if you think this expansion is just more scenarios, then you are absolutely wrong. The increased freedom with just those four action cards changed the whole way the game is played. Again, this is Chronicles of Crime Noor. If you like what you see, then go buy it.